bop, 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 bop. What? Cityscape? Ah, oh, Captain Syrup! You're so... Dastardly! <laughs> and of course, we've got the comic relief, Goom, Moob. Get back here and give me my money! Oh sh- Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! In town, stop the train. This is one of my favorite. Oh my god! Are you? I don't. You cannot believe how much I am going to love this. This is absolutely one of my favorite levels of the game. Anyway, in town, stop that train. Just listen to the music for a second. Oh my god, In Town is just one of the best parts of this entire game. Like, everything about it is amazing. From the music to just... This is one of the best levels, too. Just because, to me, it's just so unique. Like, I know they did... There's a level sim There's levels like this similar in, like, Su uh, Super Mario Bros. 3. Just because I've watched a couple of Let's Plays of that, but I've never played that! So it's completely different for me. Like this is this is so such a unique concept to me that you can actually you've got a platformer on a train. It's so cool to me. Oh, whatever. I don't know if they had any concept levels like that. Honestly, I think this is the most imaginative, one of the most imaginative parts of Wario Land 2. I don't know if they had anything like this in Wario Land 3 or 4, because I never got that far in those games. Because honestly, I just don't have the time to play them right now. I mean, um, Harry, I know you've played Wario Land 3, and Roger, I know you've played. Uh, Wario Land 4, and you both really like those games, so let me know, actually, if they have any levels like this. Because that might be enough for me to actually go back and look at them again. Alright, so what I'm going to do first, and this is usually how I do this level after the first couple of cars, I'm going to just do the top first, and then I'm going to go back and do the bottom. Alright, so I believe... It's the f yes, this is actually where we get the treasure. I believe. Yep. Okay. This is one of the. This is one of the few levels that I know almost by the back of my hand, just because I've played it so many times. Like it's ridiculous because it is that fun for me. Like when. Oh, one second, I gotta concentrate. Okay, I found you. When. We started this game, you guys couldn't see it because you obviously can't see my face. I just had the largest grin on my face, like, my mouth was hanging- Ocarina! Magic Ocarina, we just got it! Let's wake up the princess, go back in time, save the world! Um... Whatever. <laughs> Completely screwed up that analogy. But... What was I saying? No, when you- when- I just started listening to the music of this level when we started it, and I just saw what level it was, and I just saw the color scheme. I mean, it's really boring out there, it's like, what are those waves in the background going by? I mean, it is kind of boring, but I mean, at the same time, it's, it's really cool what they did here, because, yeah, it's a really boring train, but watch. It bumps up and down on the track, which is a really nice touch that they put in there that I just you don't really expect. I mean, you expect them to spend some time on the background, I guess, but nobody's really paying attention to the background, so it's not that big of a deal. Right. Okay, um, I'm pretty sure we're actually near the end of the level. So we'll get these! 
Um, what was I even talking about? I don't remember, but I can just keep going on this. I mean, even on the top, you'd expect them to take away... You'd expect them to just be kind of lax with the with it. Um, like you expect... Okay, they're just going to show the top of the train. They're not going to show anything special. Okay, so what we have to do is hit that switch. But we have something else to do first. You don't expect them to actually be moving you back with the tr as the train goes forward. I mean, that's just a really cool thing that they put in. I think, at least. Um, and yet they've still got the bumping up and down. It's just something... You, like those little touches that you don't expect them to put in there. Yeah, you cannot grind for silver coins with these guys, by the way, but... Anyway, let's finish this. It's... The little things, that's what makes the game for me. And I don't know if they have those in the later games. I want That's what I'm, what I'm asking you guys, because from what I've played, they don't really have that. I don't know. I don't... I, I'm, I'm not really sure what I'm trying to say either, so... <laughs> Alright, anyway. Okay, so it's a 7 or a 1, or 4. I've m I've screwed that up quite a few times actually. I I would have I will get like oh the top the top middle one will be blank and the bottom middle one will be blank so it must be a one. And I forget fours work like that. I almost selected four right then. Oh, it's nice to get them really quick. All right, so I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Wario Land Two with Mio X Fu, and we will go into the actual town next episode. Take it easy.